Hi, and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be doing something different. I will demonstrate how to write a resume inside Microsoft Word. And at the end, we will convert the Word document to a PDF file, which is a recommended way to share your resume. This demo will be done in Microsoft 2019 version. Let's get going. So the first thing I do is I change the layout and I go to the layout tab, margin, and you can see I put my margin to the narrow so that way I have a lot of space. Next, I will insert tables. And what I usually do is I insert eight lines or in this case, eight rows. This kind of gives me a foundation. And next, let's go ahead and start inserting more lines. So that way we have multiple lines to work with. I also recommend putting your first name, last name, and your contact information into a header of the document. So what I will do next is I'll double click the top of the page this will bring me into a header format here i will go ahead insert a table and i'll give it two uh, let's give it four lines because i want to show you at the end how i do some formatting but for now i am just setting this up as a template so let's get going and the first line i will go ahead and insert a horizontal line up here and also at the bottom of the header here you will add your name first last down here will be a number and let's divide this with a pipe character and put your first dot last at email.com so we will just keep this very simple and we'll do the formatting later in the video let's get out of it so now you can see your title and your contact information will be in the header section let's go ahead and put your professional summary here we can say something along the lines, highly skilled and creative YouTube fluencer with over 10 years of experience. So you can add a, a little summary of what you're doing. In this case, I'm just randomly putting stuff out there. You may want to add something along the lines of extremely passionate about computer automation and programming. Let's go ahead and fix this. Down here, let me maybe select three of these rows, go into the split cells and we'll say number of rows three and two columns so this will actually let's do three columns three by three and here now you can list your technical skills area areas of technical skills include and let me highlight these and we'll go ahead to the home tab and add a bullet point let's go ahead and change this to i like this one it's more it pops out more and then we'll also indent back to the left and now here you can put in your skills photo shop i guess that's how you spell it i'll do some programming languages c sharp and ASP.NET, Java, Python programming, let's say you know 
Linux, Unix, data. Let's do some SQL micro. Actually, it starts with Microsoft SQL. And we'll just add some other stuff. I am passionate about auto hotkey, as you guys know. I have multiple videos on this. GitHub and let's say Visual Studio. So just something to put down. You can add more, remove more. And we'll go ahead, give us a space here. I'm gonna keep adding these horizontal lines. You'll see that later in the video. Professional experience. I love Microsoft because they do the spell checker for you. Another horizontal line and down here, let's see, let's break this into two columns. Layout, split the cell, two columns. This will be your company name. And over here will be your month, year, 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 to current. So you always want to start off your most recent, your current job at the top. Down here, you can give yourself the title, title of your position. And then let's add well, we'll just add three bullet points. But in this case, we'll change it to the square ones. And this is all personal preference. You can make it and format however you like. Automate manual process. Save company money by reducing cost of servers. This is more tech oriented because I am in the technology field. And also let's say run SQL queries to increase speed of stored pro procedures. Let's be consistent and give each sentence a period. And now you have this kind of outlined and quickly we can just select all of this like so. Copy. And this will be your company number two, company number three. So we'll just say company one, two, three. And these will be your 2018, you work the 2017, and so on. So you can modify your start and end dates. Next, down below, we can add maybe other skills. But before I do that, let's stay consistent and add the uh, two horizontal lines and say other skills. Here we'll add more skills, some other skills that are outside of your experience. For example, I am detail oriented and creative. And you can say something along the lines of quick learner and ability to work on a team and or an individual contributor. And then lastly, we'll continue the trend. Horizontal line, horizontal line, and this will be your education. University name, your degree name, and let's and we'll also oops let me undo this control z we'll split this one into two columns 
and we'll say whenever you graduated month year 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 graduation so you can see that it's all consistent and people used to put references upon request or something along those lines which i don't think that's needed anymore and you can also put any certificates that you maybe took at different um, schools college name and list certificates or whatever other accomplishments you did split the cell and let's say we did some certificates back in 2012. okay we will save this document later for now let's go ahead into the formatting of this and i like to use this font i came across this font and i really like it the s-e-g-o-e -E ui so this changed it actually it's hopping over to a second page for this demo i'll just keep the video to a one pager and we have to double click this select the whole table and give it the same font next let me show you this so i'm gonna select this bold and i'm going to change it to this subtle reference it's just my personal preference i'm gonna bold it and put it in the center and let's make this 20 characters and let's do this one 11 we'll put it in the center another thing see how i have first name dot last name at email if i click the space you see outlook created this link which it kind of looks messy so what i usually do i go one back arrow hit the delete key select the whole thing again and remove the underline and i'll apply the automatic text why i do this you may ask see it preserved the link to the email so that way it just looks nicer and cleaner let me double tap out of this and here we'll probably what i like to do is i'll copy this and double click on the format painter so that way is it sticks uh, that may not work actually but that's okay let me do the same thing for this one subtle Sego, Sego, I guess, is that how you say it? Sego, bold it, and let's put it as 16 characters. Professional summary. So you can see how this is coming along. Um, I think here I can copy this and apply the, yes, apply the formatting. So format will apply other skills and format education so you can see that it keeps jumping to the next page but that's okay we'll keep it a one pager one page resume so it's looking good but i'm still not satisfied so let's do some formatting here I like to keep all of these job titles bold. So I hold down the control key and I select each row bold. And I'll also change this to the C subtle reference. Change this to Sego. And we can give the company a 12 font. Yeah, I like it so i'll select this and format and do another format so that way i don't have to redo everything 
and we'll continue the trend with the formatting down there and let's put the yeah we can put the degree name in bold because you are proud of your college degree and these we'll just keep them in a bullet point and lastly i want to change the way these horizontal lines look like so let me go ahead back here i'll double click the header double click the the horizontal line let's actually remove the border on this design layout okay border we're gonna say no border okay we'll get out of this down here we'll also remove the border under the design tab no border but we will keep the the dotted lines which are called grid lines so that way you can see where each line is but i'm trying to figure out how to change the horizontal line oh yeah double click on it okay we'll give it a bold two and the top actually no i have the bottom selected we'll give it a black color and the top let me double click on it so it's two points the top will keep it gray two points and we'll do this dark gray maybe that's a little too dark i want it a little lighter maybe this one okay so i think we can do the same thing for these use solid color two points and i believe we took this one so I'm gonna copy and just use it all across. Paste, paste, and you will see why I'm doing this. Basically, just to stay consistent because the resume is supposed to be clean looking and consistent. So that way when the hiring manager or the recruiter looks at it, they don't have to think too much you know where stuff is they just want to quickly glance at it and some some hiring managers do pay close attention on the formatting and spelling spelling is big make sure you don't have any misspelled words and stuff like that okay i think so far so good next i will go ahead and save this word document here is my save as location. I'll save it in my delete me folder. And now let me export this to a PDF file so you can see the end result. Export, create PDF. We'll save it in the same spot. Publish. And my friends, here is the end result. I think it can look a little better. I don't like the way the month is lined like this. So I will move this to the right side. Let's go to that exercise together. I'll select this and then hold down the control key. And since we like to be consistent, let's move everything to the right side. and. The summary I will make it look like that let's do a save and we'll do another let me close this file export to a PDF we already have this out there yes okay and let me fit this on a page actually let's show it how it actually looks like in a if you actually printed it out so it looks pretty neat to me what do you guys think you have your first name last name your contact info your professional summary and yeah so that's a quick way to create a 
resume in your Microsoft Word document and convert it to a PDF file. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.